What's going on guys, this is CH from VillageParkSource.com, the world's ultimate free source to web design, web development, graphic design, and web-based computer programming. Okay, so here is a tutorial on how to install WordPress on a Mac with XAMPP, aka localhost. So you're going to need two things. You're going to need a text editor. doesn't matter what you use. There's no right or wrong. I'm going to be using probably TextMate for this tutorial. And the second thing you're going to need is XAMPP. If you don't already have it, pause the video and watch a video on how to install it, whether it's for a PC, a Mac, Linux, XAMPP is cross-platform. So, okay, let's go. First thing we're going to do is we're going to Google WordPress and let's go to WordPress.org, not WordPress.com. WordPress.org is for a is for content management systems. And let's go ahead and go over here. You can either click download right here or download right here. It's the same link. I'll just download it. Download WordPress 3.4.2, which right now is the most current um, version of WordPress, which means it's got the newest PHP functions and the newest interfaces and all that stuff. Up here, it's downloading. I'm going to pause the video and wait till it's done downloading. So now it's done. So I'm going to go to my applications, click on downloads, and there is my WordPress file. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to rename it uh, Village Park. You can call it anything you want. You can even leave it at WordPress, just as long as you can remember it. So when we add it into our URL right here, it's the same as what we titled our folder. So I'm going to call it Village Park, one word. You can call it anything you want. Again, there's no right or wrong. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn on our XAMPP control. Turn on Apache and MySQL. doesn't matter if you have... Um, your FTP turned on because we're not FTP in anything. So once you have this turned on, go to, I'm going to open up another tab. I'm on Safari. You could be on whatever. Just type in localhost, not www.localhost.com, just localhost. I'm going to click on XAMPP and I'm going to go to PHP, my admin right here, which is an awesome MySQL application. I'm going to create a new database, call it whatever you want. I'm just going to call it surf. Let's go ahead and click create. There it is. We don't need a new table. We just need to know that Surf is a database. Is a is a yeah, it's a database in our um, on our localhost. So we'll go home. See Surf over there. Okay. So now what we need to do is we need to go ahead and configure our our WordPress file and inside here. Keep in mind it says Village Park just because I customized it, but it's really just our WordPress folder. It's a brand new. Uh, I'm going to close this out. It's a brand new folder of WordPress. So the folder that we need right now is our wp-config-sample.php folder. So I'm going to open this up with my text editor. Probably TextMate because Dreamweaver takes forever to open. And okay, so here's our file, wp-config-sample.php. Don't worry about this blue stuff. That just means it's been commented out in PHP. That's how you comment in PHP. So what we need is... There's three parts we need to fill in right here. It's our database name, which we called surf. Our username here, and by default, unless you changed it, I don't recommend doing it because um, it's it's not really confusing, but it's just like another thing you need to learn how to do. And I'm only using this WordPress uh, thing or this WordPress on my site right now on localhost, pretty much just to test. So I might change this before I upload this to a web host, but for the time being, just have it as root and let's not have a password and don't click save click save as let's go to save as and now we're gonna save this as we're gonna take off the hyphen sample so take off hyphen sample wp hyphen config dot php it's in our wordpress folder again remember this is wordpress i just customized it i'll click save let's look at our folder and our files in here this is the file that we just saved i'll open up just to double check it and there it is, surf root no password. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my applications right here. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom. And I'm going to find my XAMPP. And what we need to do is we need to drop our WordPress folder inside our htdocs folder. Our htdocs folder represents our server. Uh oh, so I'll just put it in here. Authenticate. It's going to ask for a password. That's fine because I remembered it. There's our Village Park folder. So what we're going to do now is since we have our XAMPP turned on, we're going to go to localhost and whatever you titled or renamed your folder, if you didn't rename it, it's probably just WordPress, but I did. It's called Village Park. I'm going to hit enter. And we've, if we made it this far, we have successfully downloaded WordPress. So I'll give it a site title. I'll just call it Village Park. 
Uh, don't ever use admin because that's like 50% of the security. Just create whatever your name is. I'll just say Billy, password twice, Billy1985, Billy1985. It's going to ask for your email just to make sure we're not robots. Make sure we're humans. And I'll give them my work email, Village Park. Allow search engines to index this site? Absolutely. I have no reason why you would never want somebody to be able to, to Google or, or Yahoo or uh, Bing search your site. Install WordPress. Billy, your chosen password. So it's Billy, Billy1985. Billy1985. <laughs> That should work. Okay, so here's our back end of WordPress. WordPress is a CMS. Every CMS has two sides. Here's the back end. This is the site. Here's the front end. All right, so we have successfully installed, installed uh, WordPress on a Mac, and we tested it with our local host. All right, guys, let me know if you have any questions. Maybe I'll see you in another video. Good luck.